Hello, in this video today we'll be looking at how we can use our open source Maven plugin for open source container edition to deploy an application onto Docker. So I already have my Business Studio open, so I'm going to just open that up. It's just a simple REST service. If you look at what it's doing, we're just getting, we just have a name and a location that it's going to output. In this case, I already um, hard-coded the parameters of Bob in California just to test that the actual deployment will work properly. Something you have to make sure of before you actually try to deploy um, onto Docker's that if you go to Window Preferences and you go under Business Source Container Edition Container Platform, you should see that the platform is Docker. Um, this will make sure that when generating your POM file and your properties file, that it's generated for a Docker deployment and not for a Cloud Foundry deployment. So I'm going to just hit Cancel. So to actually generate our POM or our properties file, we need to right click on our project. So sample rest, generate POM for application. Our Maven plugins has not already been installed onto Studio, so that's why we can see this. So if I click it, then it'll give us our Maven UI. We'll do deploy ear to Docker, just click that. And then we have different parameters that we can set on how or what we want to name or where we actually want to deploy our application. So in this case, I'm going to deploy it locally. And because I'm on a Linux machine, I'm going to be using a um, Unix socket. So far, run docker .soc. I mean, If I was running it on, let's say, Windows or Mac and I was using a Docker machine, then I would have to actually specify my cert path. So this, in this case, I don't have to, so I can just delete it. Image name, so this is the name of what you want your image to um, be called when it's once it's generated. So I'm going to do typical simple sample. And BWC image, so this is the base image that it's building on top of. So if I go to my terminal and if I do Docker images, I can see that I have a typical latest right there. And so that's the base image I'll be using. Um, because I have no tag here, it will be using latest. Maintainer, so if I want to actually put someone on there, I can run as Docker host. So if, because I want to deploy this locally, I'm going to um, just select the run as host, give it a name. So I'm just going to add my name to that and then specify port. So in this case, I'm going to deploy it on 18090. And if I want to set any variables, volumes, or links, I can set that as well here. So hit finish. And then if we actually open up our project, we'll see that we have our properties file or it has what we essentially set in that file. And then we can look at our POM XML. And we can see that the POM XML actually references that properties file and uses those properties. So Docker dev properties. And then if we go down, you can see that the variables are set here. So whatever we put in the properties file, those would be essentially put into the POM file. What also is generated once you create that POM file is this .parent folder. So I'm going to open it up, POM XML. If I open this up, essentially this is just another POM file, but this is um, how the application knows how to build itself and to use this um, Fabricate Maven plugin that, uh, um, it's that, that our open source plugin is based off of. And if I want to run this with Maven, then I'm going to right-click the POM file and do run as, run configuration. And I already have these set, so I'm using clean package initialize Docker build. Essentially what this will do is build my image in my local repository. So create the ear file, which is clean package, and then um, Docker the Docker build portion will actually build the image with that ear file. So if I choose to run it, it runs within Studio, so I can see that the console has started running. We can see the logs coming out. It's it builds building the ear file as we see, adding modules to the ear file, adding information to the ear file, and we notice that okay, build the image, tag the latest, success, success. If we want to see now, we can do Docker images, and we'll notice that we have an image called typical simple sample, the tag latest created ten seconds ago. And so if we actually want to deploy this onto Docker, we'll right click on our POM XML under our parent folder again, run as, run configuration, I have this set as well. Uh, initialize Docker start, so once again, this is using the Fabricate plugin in command Docker start, where it's going to take the image that we specified and it's going to deploy it onto our um, local um, Docker uh, daemon and essentially use whatever ports or variables that we've set in that case. So I'm just going to run. 
and once again the console will give us our locking so we don't have to go out of the studio or at, at all. And if we see here we all success and start the container, just container ID in the name. So if I do actually do docker ps, you'll notice that here we go, that the container has started. That's the port that we specified when we actually typed it into our properties file, the name that I set when we typed in the properties file. So I want to actually make sure that it's running. So I'm going to do docker logs, two, seven, five. And it says started BW application. So we're actually going to test this to make sure. So we're going to go to localhost 18090 slash swagger. And we'll see that our application comes up. And we'll try it out and get the values that we should be getting. So name Pablo in California. So yeah, that's it. Just a quick and simple video on how to deploy a BWC application um, into Docker using our Maven plugin. Thank you.